Andrew Grab Bag Lefty Denton. Come on there. Dear Andrew, it's Ron here. My friends think I'm a moron because I love sport. They're into art and literature and reckon that sport is a total waste of time. Please, can you give me some facts about sport that will prove to them that it's not dumb? Ron. Dear Ron, sport, art and literature are not as far apart as your friends think. Do they know, for instance, that the poet Wordsworth once wrote an entire ode to football which went, It is ode to football that I now have a nose like a melon, ears like two cauliflowers and a brain like a pea? Are they aware that Vincent van Gogh had an entire sport named after him, as did Tennyson? If that doesn't convince them, perhaps they'd be interested to know that Australia's own Jeff Burnett is a voracious consumer of Shakespeare, having been known to eat two copies of Hamlet the night before a big fight. I hope that's answered your question, Ron. I'm Andrew Denton, and remember, no matter what your problem, society's to blame. <laughs> I don't know, I blame my problem on Andrew's parents. 387 is the number. Give Andos a call if you have a problem. 387 to 8 is the time now. How do you talk to an angel? Andrew? Best band ever. Oh, no, I'm awfully sorry. I don't agree with that. I, I'm very Catholic in my taste. I think it's possible to have a number of good bands. I don't think we have to have this stupid obsessive best band in the world mate i only like heavy metal music jj and all these pictures they like heavy metal when you can get stuff i mean this is an absolutely moronic attitude and you even though we're talking about an infinitely more acceptable band are, are, are purveying exactly that attitude i won't have it in my staff okay quinos i'm sorry they're a good band they're one of the great bands but they are not the best band there is no need to be obsessive there is no need to be unpleasant why can't people be nice I don't ever know. Get on with it, you big bore. <laughs> oh, thank you, Sam. You there, Reg? Hello, right, Doug. Oh, one of the old people who respects me. Yes, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm copping a lot of heat here this morning, Reg. Sorry? I'm copping a lot of heat. Yeah, I know. It's good, actually. <laughs> it's a conspiracy. The worms are turning. 24 degrees is the temperature in town. We're looking for a top today of 30 in the city, as high as 38 at Richmond Way. Where are you, young man? George's Hall, Rebel Road. Telecom mobile net, $1,000 is yours in Doug's big ring. Rebel Road. George's Hall. Is it hot there? No, it's not too bad, actually. It's fair, is it? Sorry? It's fair to Midley? Yeah, fair to Midley. I don't think we'll reach 30 today. <laughs> you're, you're a bit flat today, Reg, aren't you? Where we were so intense and you've just gone... <laughs> like one of those uh, balloons people let go. big inflatable dolls. Yes. Oh, yes. don't say that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, so, Rabal Road, George's Hall. Yep. Any landmarks at all? Oh, there's a car park and a river. Car park in a river. It sounds charming. Isn't it? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's, it's lovely at this time of year, Rebel Road, George's Hall. And particularly if you find the phone that's worth the $1,000. Telecom Mobile, they're giving us $1,000 each and every day. On the other side of this break, we'll ring the sacred number and give someone a foul. Stand by, Reg. Shall do, Duggo. Shall do, Duggo! <laughs> that's better. <laughs> I met our very good friends, and they give us $1,000 to give away each and every morning. And we haven't even made a TV ad about it. <laughs> there isn't a secret phrase. You just have to turn up this morning um, to Rabal Road at George's Hall. Do you have people for gathering, Red? Yeah, plenty of people here, Uncle, already. Girls, guys, suits, you name it. They're all here. They're all looking for the phone. I'm pretty sure we'll have a winner. They're pretty close to the spot. We should ring it. All right, Maddie. So Fifi is uh, on the dial. She is our dialer extraordinaire. You're doing it, darling? Doing it for Duggos? Okay, let's join in. And it's uh, 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 uh. All right, Reggie, you tell us what's happening. She's got a good dialogue, Fifi. She's got a yeah, great well, they're running around. There's a few people down near the river, and there's a few people sitting in their cars. I don't know how they're going to find the thing in their cars. There's someone very close to it at the moment. Um, I, I, hello. Oh, hello. Hello. To whom am I speaking? Michelle. Michelle. Michelle, my bell rang for you this morning. Doug's big ring is worth $1,000. You've got that money from Telecom Mobile now. Oh, thanks. Oh, I'm so excited. Are you? I can hardly Believe speak it. up. Scream into the phone, Michelle. Sorry? Scream into the phone. <coughs> That's not bad, Fifi. Can you better that? <coughs> I think it will give Fifi $1,000 not to scream in future. We'll give you $1,000 for screaming, Michelle. Thank you so much for turning out today. It's a, it's a pleasure. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. She's nice, girl. super nice. Yeah, Very nice. Yeah. Here too. She looks good too, does she? Yeah. God, you're still doing it. That's all right, I can't you're help myself. You're a sexist creep. Here am I, a bastion of 90s-ness, 
And you're out there destroying everything we do with your glamours and your wildebeests. Well, I'm not, I don't say anything. You're the one that's missing all that. You do, privately, and I like to relate it to the audience. I think we should share our lives with the audience. We should be honest. Honesty is the best policy. I have never held any detail back. Oh, we know that. Maybe I should tell them about what you did on the Harley. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he got out Mr. Wobbleboard and he... Oh, never mind. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just indulging myself there. I became a brass instrument in the hands of the Lord. The heights. How do you talk to an angel? Well, you could defenestrate, I suppose. Uh, take a gun to your head, put the little tube through the window, but I don't recommend it. Because if you hear me say this, you're listening. That means you're a listener and we need all of those that we can get. Three minutes to eight, and here she is, the little dog trafficker. It's it's Sue Moses for Telecom Mobile Network News for more of it. No, it's Doug Mulroy, Triple M. Oh, Beryl from the Memory Loss Clinic. No, it's Beryl from the Memory Loss Clinic. Yeah, do you have a handy hint for my listeners, Beryl? No, I have a handy hint for your listeners. Oh. When applying for the new job as a reporter on 60 Minutes, mm -hmm. practice by interviewing world leaders. However, if there aren't any around your home or bowls club, interview your friends. Except Bert Romsey from the Stamp Collecting Society. He's F and C. Beryl! Beryl! What? You seem like such a nice lady. You, you must watch your language. We're on the radio. What? What? You can't say F and C. Flamin' Crackers. Oh, I'm sorry. It, it, my mistake. Of course, it's a different generation. My dirty mind, I apologize. Well, don't be so effing rude in future. Jump into ablutions like that, you dirty bugger. Love, Beryl. They had replaced their Hoover with a Simpson. It ate their shorts. Kerry Packer talks about leaving the board at Westpac. There was no more room on his roof rack, and besides, the surf's been shitty. And Michael Jackson's horror when he found out Bubbles and Di Fisher were one and the same. What does embarrass sexy Sophie Lee? Is it those crappy retail ads by her crazy father Bing? Plus, why rock brain Glenn A. Baker wishes he had a real brain? I've got no idea. Have you? <laughs> Triple M, it's 24 degrees at 8 o'clock into phase two of our meltdown, a change not due until tomorrow. Good morning, Alison Dro with the news update. A whopping deep southerly due in tomorrow. It should see temps drop by about 10 degrees on Friday. It's going to be fine for Saturday. It's currently 24 degrees. You sounded like a fashion consultant then, Alison. Did I? Yes. 37 degrees out west, and the Bureau suggests wearing some <laughs> thunderstorms with that. They go so beautifully together, yeah. particularly for after five. This half hour.